You are listening to Cyber Cafe, a sitcom without pictures. Even cavemen had pictures. What did they know that we don't? Episode 2, Hijacked. Emily, every morning you beat me to work. I'm an early riser. I definitely haven't been sleeping in the stockroom. That's just an emergency fire blanket. And an emergency fire pillow. Oh, next to the emergency fire teddy bear? Don't you touch, Noah. I can't even wake up before 10. Honey, it's 7 in the morning. Yeah, so? 7 comes before 10. That's why I don't sleep before I open here, duh. If I had to get up that early, I'd be exhausted. You're God's child, honey. That's what the doctors say. Chadrick! Honey, child, I'll have my usual. Wonderful. Your usual what? Huh. Emily, how's about you pour some brew while I chat with your innocent here? Name's Dark Reaper to corpse scum like you. What was that? House brew coming up. Honey, you would not believe how crazy work has been. The Department of Justice contracted us to develop a virus that melts human skin and... Department of Justice? Yes, I know, usually that kind of thing would be for the DOD. But the DOJ wants the police to deploy biological weapons against No, I mean, um, what's the Department of Justice? It's an oxymoron. Okay. Okay, you don't have to be mean. No, honey, she's just... I'm doing my best here. I'm not stupid. Honey, she wasn't insulting you, honest. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) babe, no. (laughs) Look, I gotta go. Here's a nice, fat tip. Thank you. Giving me a cut of that? Why? I made the coffee. Then why didn't he give you the money? I have expensives, Emily. That's expenses. Why do you think Tadric always looks at me like that? I think he likes you. (laughs) That's mighty friendly of him. No, I I mean, he's like a potential sugar daddy. Like with money and kissing? Those are two of my five favorite things. How do I cash in? I don't have any personal experience with it. I, I think you just exchange phone numbers and obscene photographs. Oh, you mean dating. Maybe more than dating, honey. That guy had an emptiness behind his eyes that only the rote performance of heterosexual rituals can fill. Think about it. Scooped up by the professional managerial class. White picket fence. No more cold nights. No more ketchup packets for breakfast. I could buy a giant robot and rain death upon my enemies. Do you have enemies? I could afford to make some. (laughs) Just uh, don't forget I was nice to you when you hit it big and start murdering people. I just hope Chatty doesn't have any issues with my night job. What's your night job? Don't butt in, Sam. You're the ones leaning on me, and please don't do that, by the way. I'm not furniture. You know, you should have a flashing light when you're awake or something, so you can't eavesdrop. What if we were talking about secret girl things? I've been renting out my body. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, like a (laughs) good good example. Yeah, we we could... I think Emily has some issues with sex... I do not have issues with, with the, with that word. Sex? I don't have issues with sex. Why are we talking about sex? You brought it up, you impudent strumpet. I did not. I just said I was letting wealthy businessmen into my body to do what they want with it. Gonna have to ask the difference there. We live in a gig economy. Emily? Emily? So, if I have a thingy in my spine that lets me rent out my body, why shouldn't I use it? A thingy in your spine. Oh, I read about this. Did you read about this, or did you just eavesdrop on some journalists? It might surprise you to know that I don't have a lot of hobbies. It should be obvious, but it still might surprise you. Total sensory immersion, I think it's called. Execs who don't have time for a vacation hop into some body far away to enjoy a meal under foreign skies. I miss meals. People broadcast their whole lives for strangers. Are you broadcasting now? Yeah! I'm currently at 27 hop-ons. 
So this conversation where we're talking about them probably feels like one of those things where you're watching a movie and one of the characters says, that's fine in the movies, but this is real life. And then looks at the camera like he knows it's there, but that's impossible. I hate it when movies do stuff like that. As do I. And because I have my whole spine wired up, whenever I want to sleep, I can just shut off my brain and let someone else remote control me. They pay me even more for that. That sounds extremely dangerous. Even more dangerous than letting people see where you live and where you keep your valuables. I don't have any valuables. Why do you think I'm selling my body so cheap to strangers? Could we please think about our language here? It's fine. They have safety measures in place. There's rules and relations. For instance? For instance, there's protocols. Why would you let complete strangers hijack your body? More to the point, how much are they paying you to hijack your body? Soylent money? Burger money? Steak money. I gotta get in on this racket. Ha! <laughs> you? What? Yeah, me. Why not? Uh, it's just... Never mind. Tell me. Should I tell you? I want to hear you say it. Well, you two have such different... Uh, teeth. I just assume people would rather inhabit bodies with nicer teeth. God just gives different women different teeth. Besides, she, Honey was in that accident. I bet her teeth are implants. Honestly, your teeth look fine. He's just jealous because most of his head got pulped in a recycling plant. No, he's right. My teeth are pasty and flabby and lopsided, and you and me and all 27 people Honey's broadcasting to can see that. You know, I, I could have been a dental model if my teeth were better, but no, one of them had to grow in bigger than the other. Emily, you have more than two teeth. Is no one going to bust those tables? No, Sam? Fine, I'll do it. Bye. Sam, she's so silly, you can't bust tables. I know, honey. You don't even have arms. I know, honey. You're just stuck here, day after day, sitting on our counter. I know, I... <clears throat> I know, honey. What do you do all day? I've been playing online games, actually. Oh, yeah? Are you like an elf wizard? Well, no, my cooler can't really run anything intensive. I play mobile games. You know, where you can, like, click on a monster really quick to vanquish it and roll three times a day to unlock a picture of a sexy woman. Mobile games. My grandma got addicted to the one with the sexy women who were also battleships. Aren't those just gambling? Mm, not if you're broke. I have accounts in a bunch of them, so when I run out of free play time, I switch to another one. How many do you play? Uh, 312. Maybe you should get a hobby. This is the hobby. Video gaming rots your brain. Hobbies are nice things, like rowing, or ultimate frisbee, or squeezing your torso to count organs. Honey, I can't... What? I got up to 17 once. I do miss my stomach. I think about food a lot. Food was nice. You don't eat either? I'm electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Is that supposed to be a joke? Is what supposed to be a joke? I just realized we're both transhuman. Post-human. The future of our species. And now I'm kind of sad. That's why I don't know about Chad. Whenever I tell people I'm a cyborg, they start looking at me different. Like I'm not a person anymore. I mean, legally I'm not a person, but they don't have to rub it in. We're not all like that. You're not. But you're even less of a person than I am. Thanks. You're welcome. Other people, they get really nice, but it's still like I'm some doll to them. At least the ones who openly hate me don't lie to me. You'll find someone out there. Even Emily hates me. She doesn't hate you. You've seen the face she makes at me. She always has that face. She just looks weird. Always good to come back and see the place hasn't been overrun by bandits. Bandits, boss? Or varmints. Good to see the walls haven't been shaken down by an errant hootenanny. How old are you? Old enough to remember the rule of law. Today I got run off the sidewalk by rowdy teenagers on skateboards. Rowdy teenagers? In my day, we had respect for our elders. 
When I was a little rascal, I moved with the good crowd. We made lemonade stands, drove in soapbox derbies, four misogynist hate gangs. Why, I remember my friend Alfalfa once told me... Misogynist hate gangs? Look, it was a different time. The MPAA held that this was strictly comic mischief. The point is, we were above board. Legal. We were a happy troop. The He-Man Woman Haters Club walking shoulder to shoulder with Gross and No Ma'am. All the greats. I wonder where our misogynist hate gang is these days. Folsom? Well, Congress. How much of the stuff you say is true? I don't see what that has to do with anything. Hard at work? I'm a disembodied brain. My job description is to soak in coffee sweetener. Hmm. How's that going? Not great, boss. You know how white-collar workers pick up hobbies just so they can do something with their hands? Yeah. Imagine that, but with no hands. We could get you a hat. How would that help? It would liven up the place. Good evening. Evening, honey. I'll have a nice hot cocoa. I thought you didn't eat anything. What? That'll be $27, please. Ah, it's cheap here. Honey, what are you talking about? What? Oh. I'm just borrowing this body, hoping to have some fun tonight. What's she talking about? Third base. (laughs) Ignore her, boss. Just get the cocoa. Here you are, honey. Don't get fresh. Sorry, ma'am. Sir, actually. Huh? This modern world. Well, good night. Where are you going? Third Third base. Third (laughs) base. I'm so confused. She rented out her body to some foreign businessman. Or maybe just a local. Hard to tell. The accent sounded like Yonkers. Jinkies! Oh, is that how it's pronounced? What is it, Polish? Emily? You okay to close up? Actually, if you're here, I wouldn't mind some help. Great. Bye. I said yes, I do want... Uh, whatever. Are you still mad at me? Okay, I guess you can't room with someone and never wear on each other's nerves, huh? So, did you catch the big game? I was surprised real-life Street Fighter took off. That's just MMA, I said at first. But when the Hadokens start flying, I have to eat my words every time. (laughs) I want to download some cartoons. Stop hogging the internet. I need to play my games or I'll go crazy. No game could possibly use this much bandwidth. No, but 312 could. I'm going to watch my Japanese animes now, Sam. You do that. Lots of attractive, popular, charismatic women just like you watch Japanimation. I don't need your pity. I just want you to admit that you can see how much easier life is for people like Honey. Her kidneys were 3D printed. That's exactly the problem. They made her better than me in every way. Looks aren't everything. She'll probably live forever. Yes, she may live forever in a nightmarish society where people can get shot by their employers, and that's just normal. As a transhuman myself, I envy your mortality. You know I have a criminal record, right? For selling bogus wiener medication? This was the last place in town that'd hire me. It was this or shipping out to mine conflict minerals. Honey just needs to snap her fingers at some MBA and she'll have it made. Yeah, I guess if she pretends to love someone she doesn't, her life will be wonderful. And I'll never have that choice. I don't want any pity parties from the woman who got me shot. Acting like your life's so hard, I don't even have toes. Toes are overrated. Humiliating appendages, feet. Fool's hands, I call them. You ever consider that if you never got the chance to be a trophy wife, maybe it's just because you're a jerk? Interesting argument. I have a counterpoint. What are you doing? Networking with your computer. And why is that? Is this where you keep all your mobile games? Yeah. Nice collection. Over 17,000 characters. Battleship girls, medieval weapon girls, significant women from feminist history girls, all of them with names, statistics, histories, all of them my friends when I'm alone in the darkness. 17,000, that's a lot. What's killallnerds.exe? Your friends in the darkness are about to be deleted. You wouldn't dare! All it takes for evil to triumph is for Norton's antivirus to do nothing. Whitelisting. Emily, I'm sorry. You're not a jerk. Please don't kill my friends. They don't even exist, and you care more about them than me. Say goodbye. Ah! (laughs) 
Goodbye, Bikini Gunnery Sergeant Frida Kahlo. I'll miss you most of all. Seventeen thousand of my beloved daughters have been deleted. Justice is served. Now you can do something more constructive with your time. I'm a disembodied consciousness. What can I do that's constructive? You could start a blog. Those kids in Ender's Game became benevolent rulers of Earth by posting on Usenet. That would never happen in real life. Posting may seem useless, but it got Chelsea Manning into the White House. I'll never understand how that took off as a platitude. Because it comes from a place of truth, Sam. Fine. If there's no other choice, I'll read the news. Morning, honey. Good morning. I don't see what's so good about it. Insurgents have reignited the conflict in Delaware. There's a volcano in Yemen. And Halifax is refusing nuclear disarmament. Ignore him. He's been reading the news all night. And you won't believe what this congressman said about Sasquatch. This has been my day so far. I'm sorry to hear about your troubles, female troll and talking lemonade cooler. Honey, light of my mornings. Just the usual, which is the house blend, which is also the simplest drink order possible. Tell him it's coming right up, dear. It's coming right up, dear. And tell him I should get the tip, Gracie. Don't be obscene. So... When do you get off, honey? About the same time you do, I bet. Don't be obscene. Twelve hours left, huh? After that, you got plans? Nothing I can't move around. Dinner? Thought you'd never ask. Tie? Evening dress. Killer. See you then. Swiggity swag. Did you just say swiggity swag? No. Yes, she did. Swiggity swag. Maybe I said it a little bit. You told me you were scared of going out with that guy. Oh, um, uh, did you hear something? I better go check the stock room. Does Honey seem off to you? I don't think it's her. Yesterday she came in after her shift, but it was someone else renting her body. Maybe he never gave it back. 
She said there was safety protocol for that. You believed her? I was always told that it's anti-feminist to question a woman's choices, even Margaret Thatcher's. But you hate women. Not exclusively women. I'm pan-misanthropic. I think I've figured it out. You act morally superior so you can justify why you don't help anyone. You dismiss anyone who challenges you. Yeah, whatever. Do you think that's why you have no friends? We're talking about Honey here, a cyborg demigoddess. She doesn't need my help when she has you and alternating ranges of the Kinsey scale leaping to her aid. Some of us don't have arms, Emily. All I can do to help her is hassle you. Look, if you won't do this for me or for her, how about you do it for whatever rich old pervert Honey ends up with? And all the money she'll end up in charge of? So let's say she got hijacked. How could we check? Let's look on their website. Okay, there is a page for registering a complaint if someone hijacks your body that only the body in question can access. But if she can't get her body back, how can she- I think you've pinpointed why it says zero complaints in the history of the service. So what can we do? There's a troubleshooting page. Uh, do you know the model number for the thingy in her spine? Crap, uh, her accident was three years ago, they used refurb parts. Say it's the U69. Nice. That's such a lazy joke. Obviously, the appropriate response to U69 is no U69. It says with the U models, if you don't want to open up the patient, you need to press the system error button. That'll be a longer spine? Not yet. It's inactive. It pops out to be pressed if you feed her a mouthful of ice. Sorry, are you malfunctioning now too? I guess it's to keep her from accidentally bumping the button. Better than opening her up. Uh, can she eat? Apparently she can, she just doesn't to save money. So we have to get her to chew on ice. Yes. This is so stupid. Hey, honey! What's up? We were arguing about your robot body. Can you chew on ice without short-circuiting or developing a need to hunt and kill organic life? Yeah, of course. Prove it! R right now? Yeah! We just want to see. We're always doing stuff like this with you, don't you remember? Of course I remember. I love playing, uh... Uh, we call it Icy Bitey Chompy Chomp. Of course! I love playing Icy Bitey Chompy Chomp with you, too. But, um, why is the troll standing behind me? We want, like, a panoramic view. Well, okay. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about this. Sorry about what? There's meant to be a button on your spine. Don't touch that. Boop, beep, beep. Click. We're sorry. Our technical support staff is currently unavailable. Your call will be completed in the order it was received. Is this right? The girl from Ipanema. Doo -doo -doo. Well, it beats the in-store radio. <laughs> I'm so confused. If it's a computer, it should know the lyrics. Is this just Honey singing the songs from memory? I don't know. This is awful. You're telling me. Hold music jokes are so 80s. I hope someone answers soon. We should be closing up. Click! Did she just say click hello. out loud? Thank you for your patience. I'm Pablo. What seems to be the problem here? Yes, hello. Our friend, the one you're inhabiting right now has been renting her body out to strangers, and one of them didn't give it back. Okay, so what's the problem? The problem is that we want our friend back. Okay, and, uh, and do you have a proprietary right to intercede in the matter? No, but she's unconscious. She can't intercede herself. Is there anything you can do for us? I'm seeing several report requests submitted about this body. Were they yours? Maybe they're hers. Oh, no, they're from the client. It seems someone deactivated this body he was renting and put it in troubleshooting mode. I wonder who that could be. You can't just let him keep Honey's body. We can at the money he's paying for it. You're doing all this for money? My boss is doing this for money. I'm obeying policy so I can afford food next week. Look, the time extension was verified this morning. We used two-step authentication. She used her phone and thumbprint. That doesn't prove anything. He stole her thumbs. Can't you d d check who was in control of the body at the time? 
That's private information. Now, if you'll relinquish our contracted asset, we can- Wait, you're just going to leave one of your customers here inhabiting a contracted asset to work a shift at her job? How does the money work for that? I don't follow. Well, should our boss pay them both wages or a 50-50 split? Are you prepared to go to court to settle centuries of philosophical debate over Cartesian dualism? We use the same lawyers as Disney. If need be, they can disprove the existence of God. Awful bold, Pablo. You could be exposing your boss to a whole mess of trouble. Wage theft? Human trafficking? You'd better refer this to your manager. Sam, gosh, I, I don't want to be one of those let-me-speak-to-your-manager people. I'll loop him in. Click. Boss? Yeah. Hey, um, how's the kids? Fine, just fine. These guys are concerned about the labor implications of the body we're inhabiting working a shift while someone else was renting it out. Oh, come on, Pablo. This is the third one this week. I know, boss. It's not my fault. Agatha always passes these calls to me. Fine. Bring in the client and the contractor. Click. Hello? Are you reading me? Yeah, loud and clear. <coughs> Hang on. Will you just wait a moment? We have to take turns with the mouth. Just... <coughs> Stop! Standard procedure is you join the body's thumbs and forefinger when you're ready for someone else to talk. No, I didn't do- that was someone else. It's still my turn. Calm down! This is upsetting to watch. This is hilarious. Where's Chad? Who? What's going on? Third base. That's right, she has a date soon. Or the client made a date for her. Yes, and I wanted him, uh, the client, to go on the date for me. Is that Honey talking? Yes. Thank you for worrying about me, but I did this on purpose. I told you, Sam, I just don't want to see Chad's face the moment he realizes I'm plastic. So I thought maybe if someone else went through that for me, I could just skip to the fun part. Honey, that's not healthy. Yeah, like I need advice from someone without a face. Honey! I didn't say that! I didn't say that, but I wish I did. No, I don't! Sam, you know I think you have a good head on your shoulders. Whoever said that one, I hate them. Shadrick, who's that? Shut up, guys. I'll handle this. Honey, your stallion awaits. I didn't think you were the kind to get tongue-tied, honey. I'm not. Don't help me. If this is a bad time... She's on a conference call. It's too late now. I'll just deal with it, and whatever happens, I'll blame you. Oh, very mature. Have we answered this call to your satisfact? Click. Why does she say click out loud? So, uh, you probably got some questions. A couple? I've got a thingy in my spine. <gasps> a subluxation? A couple years ago, I got hit by a bus while I was driving a truckload of explosives. Why were you doing that? I'm still not sure. I got a lot of brain damage. That's a big bomb to drop. Not as big as the one in the truck. So your uh, synthetic parts, uh, I'm, I'm going to need some time to figure out how I feel about that. Oh, don't be a jerk. She's trusting you here. Are you eavesdropping? Sam's eavesdropping, like usual. I'm filming it. And Chad, if you say one thing out of line, your robophobia will go online for the world to see. Turn that off. Honestly, it's like working with magic unicorns at own camcorders. Huh? I'm not good at analogies. My brain doesn't work right anymore. I'm like three-fifths robot now, and I don't even know what that means. Hey, I'm 100% human, and I can't figure out what that means. No one can. Really? I'm no better at philosophy than you are. I just design flesh-melting viruses, scrupulously decontaminate, and drink coffee. Always in that order. Why? What happens if you get it wrong? This is all academic. I'm leaving town to run clinical trials tomorrow, and one dinner isn't going to change our lives. I just thought maybe if dinner went well, we could exchange phone numbers and... <laughs> I've seen photographs. I knew it! I knew it! I hope you split your tips with your eavesdropping friend, by the way. Oh, uh, what? I, I don't understand what splitting a tip means. I'm a cute, ditzy robot. Heh. <laughs> Sounds like we both need to figure some stuff out. No, I I'm figured out. Here, my phone number's... Honey... I think about you a lot while I'm at work designing flesh-melting viruses, and I'm going to keep thinking about you while I'm in Lagos. Maybe when I'm back in town, I'll look you up again and... Don't get discouraged. You'll find someone. He won't be back. I'm sorry, honey. 
I'd be scared of my flesh melting off anyway. Although, I guess I don't have so much flesh to worry about losing. See, it isn't so bad. Yeah, and I guess it's nice knowing you guys care so much about me. I know you make fun of me all the time. Shoot, admit nothing. Make fun of you? Us? Like when you called me a walking Barbie doll. Lots of people would be flattered. Or changed my name tag to read Lady Mix-a-Lot. You can't even prove which one of us did that. Only one of you has hands. What about when you sold tapes of... You did a good thing today, Sam. Physical body or no, you helped someone. Well, I tried. You're kind of like a superhero. Don't remind me of superheroes. I had 419 superhero girls collected in my online games. Sexy Thor, Sexy Hulk, Sexy Crypto the Wonder Dog. Lost in time, like tears in rain. I wanted to apologize. Bit late now. Look, I had the same idea as Honey did six months ago. I applied when that company was looking for people to sell their, their senses, and they turned me down. No one wanted to see the world through my eyes. I guess they figured they could watch anime in a storage closet for free. But, you know, you said you miss eating. I, I thought I could apply again if you ever wanted to uh, come over for dinner, you know? Share a me is, me is that weird? I don't know. Uh, the etiquette manuals don't cover possessing other people yet. Yeah, well, there it is. I thought I'd offer. I'd feel too creepy inhabiting your body. Totally understand. But hey, if you know Honey's number... Oh, shut up. You have been listening to Cyber Cafe, a sitcom that generously allows you to imagine the visuals all by yourself. So if you found the show underwhelming, I'm afraid that's your fault. Cyber Cafe was written and produced by Abby Denton, with the considerable voice talents of Hollywood Steve Huey, Alexandria Ortiz, and Ken Cosby. It was directed by Matthew J. The music was composed by Star Salesman. It was based on a drawing on a cocktail napkin that we believe was left by Keith Herring. Thank you for listening. God bless you.